Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we're going to practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, they're to the point. But if you are looking for more in-depth videos, I'll point you in the right direction as to how to access those videos at the end of this episode. All right, so our focus, our question type that we're going to be working on this week is, drum roll. It's a two-parter. That's right, two-parter. It's going to be a graphic response item display and an editing task. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, third grade, here's your problem this week. Notice it has two parts. We've got part A here and part B down here. Before we get started, why don't you go ahead and solve this problem on your own and then press play to check your work. When we have a two-part problem, it involves the same situation, okay? So we're going to be focusing on a situation and part B applies to what we do in part A. Let's take a look. It says to drag the place value blocks, which are over here, into these circle groups, which are down there, to model or to represent or show the expression of three times 40. Okay, so I'm seeing that word drag. Now, right now I'm marking up a paper copy, but usually when you take the fast math assessment, it's going to be on the computer and you'd be able to click something and drag it where it needs to go. So I'm going to bring this down right here, three times 40. And I know that three stands for the groups. And guess what? We have three groups. We have three circles, right? Three groups of 40. And I'm going to say things in each tie, things in each. Okay. So I need to drag the place value block. So what I'm going to do is since I need 40 things in each one, now technically I could take 40 of these ones and drag them into each circle, right? 40 of those, but that would take a lot of time. What would be a faster way to do that, to place 40 into each group? Yeah, to place four of the 10 rods, right? So again, if I were going to, if I were on a um, computer-based test, I would click on this rod and drag it, pulling it over into the circle. Because I can't do that on a paper copy though, as I'm marking up my work, I'm going to go ahead and pretend like I drag it and look, there I go, I place one in. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, okay? Dragging some more in. Drag in 10, 20, 30, 40, and drag in 10, 20, 30, 40. There we go. So we've dragged in the place value blocks to represent the expression of three times 40. Now part B says, find the product. The product is the total when we multiply. Find the product of 3 and 40. So what is the total when we multiply 3 times 40? Well, let's count them. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. So down here, this would be a drop down menu. Right there, we click that and it would drop down this menu right there and we would select 120, just like that. And then it would go up there. Okay, so that is your problem this week, third grade. Make sure that you have all of your work copied and awesome job today. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. Check out the links below or somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something in life, you have got to practice. You've got to put in the effort, the energy that it takes to get it done. And please know that I believe in you. I know that you can do this. 
I'll see you next time, world changers.